Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to talk about the future, the future of humanity and the solar system. Today, I am talking under the topic of illuminated, and I am simply illuminating a path into the future in an existing theory that would help us harness the sun's energy to our maximum ability. So today, we have 29% of Earth is covered in land. And out of that 29%, only 57% is inhabitable due to extreme weather such as deserts and ice. And out of that 43%, we have 7.2 billion people living there. In 2030, it is expected that 11 billion people will be on Earth. That's a lot of people, and we simply don't have the space to have them all. So where are we going to go? Mars? But we simply don't have the space and energy to be able to send all these people to Mars. So how do we do it? We need more energy. With all the energy from burning coal and uranium on Earth, we can only send up the mass of Mount Everest to space. So where do we get more energy? The sun. So the Dyson Sphere is a theory that helps us enclose the sun in mirrors to reflect the sunlight to central power collecting stations so we can absorb the, sun power, absorb the sun's power to use it to fuel expeditions such as going to Mars. So how do we build such a megastructure? Our first step would be to send a rover to Mars. It would be a small rover capable of building simple structures. So this rover would first go to Mercury and uh, strip mine the planet. Mercury is close to the sun, has only a third of its gravity, and has no atmosphere, so it would be relatively easy to launch objects to space. And it is also fully covered in minerals that we can use to build our Dyson Sphere. The Dyson Sphere will be uh, made up of 30 quadrillion mirrors, and to make up these mirrors, it will be 100 quintillion tons of metal. That's a lot of metal. And all of this metal is in Mercury. So this one rover will first go and build two of our satellites. Our satellites can't be made original solar panels. They're simply far too intricate and short-lived. So we need to go to a different method, a mirror. This mirror will be simply made out of just uh, silicon covered in aluminium to reflect the light to a central power collecting station and it will fold up into an origami that will launch out of a railgun of sorts. So this railgun will be powered by magnetic propulsion. So we put uh, the object in a railgun that would shoot it using magnetic propulsion around orbit around the sun. So to build this, we send our rover to build two of these satellites. Now these two satellites, the rover will also build the railgun to launch these two satellites into orbit around the sun. Now using the energy from these two satellites, the rover will build two more. That's four satellites. And using the energy from the four satellites, we'll build four more. That's eight. And after 60 doubling times, you will reach 30 quadrillion satellites. Now this will take a whole decade, and it is very hypothetical. So I just hope that in the future, if this was ever to become a reality, that the energy we acquire from the sun is not misused, and if we were to move to another planet, that that planet be treated better than we have treated Earth so far. Thank you.